Jeffrey's been waiting. He's waiting and waiting and waiting. He knows that he's gonna amount to something great, but he's waiting. He's just gonna wait. What's Jeffrey waiting for? The special event. Because Jeffrey's a Spurg and he's always watched movies and TV shows, he's waiting for that special event that he's seen countless times. You know the one, that lonely teenage nerd who gets bullied and then something happens. He gets bit by the spider. He eats the f kryptonite or you know whatever the sh happens in movies. One special event happens and Jeffrey turns into Adonis. And so Jeffrey waits and he waits and he waits. That better not be what you're doing too. Adonis. Adonis does not wait for the special event to happen. He makes it happen himself. He understands that miracles can happen, but you have to put yourself in the right position. Adonis makes himself lucky. He doesn't wait to be lucky. Whilst modern men sit at home consuming content and watching self-improvement YouTube videos. Adonis goes out into the real world and he takes action. Because of that, Adonis is way more likely to experience one of these events. Probably like you, I grew up watching like the most popular movies that were coming out and Spider-Man really is in my mind because it's the classic social conditioning type of movie that you don't even realize how negatively it's affected you. You don't realize that they make those superhero characters at the beginning of the movie, they make them relatable to who? To the mass of fatherless, hopeless, but ambitious young men around the world. They create characters that you can relate to so that your eyes stay stuck on the screen and you see this lonely nerd who, you know, really wants the girl, but he can't get her. Every little detail, every insecurity they show in this guy, they've done research so that you can relate to him. And then they show the guy's problems getting solved straight away because he gets bit by a spider. Because one special event happens. Within a span of a couple of minutes, he goes from total teenage nerd, loser, virgin. The spider special event happens and now he's like the big alpha jock and he's beating up the bully but like you know he has the bully ready and he's gonna punch the bully but he he's he's so humble that he's not even gonna punch the bully and like the girl he's got the girl <laughs> He's so confident. <laughs> He's about to drop all of his food, but now he, he picks it all up. <laughs> he saves himself from embarrassment and humiliation. They know what young men want. That's why these movies are so addictive. And that's why I personally refuse to watch like that. I haven't watched a movie in around two years. I haven't watched a TV show or I've been on Netflix for about two years. I refuse to be influenced to be made weaker by content like that. When you really sit around and think of what's happening to your brain as you watch like that and also think about how malicious those producers really are when they've made a movie that you can relate to and then they show the character going through the transformation that you want but they show it you know it's a, it's a montage and it's so hype and a few minutes later he's so good that's why so many young men are addicted to watching superhero movies and oh Bahamas are the new battle shut the f up oh but the new, the new super shut the f up but the Avengers shut the f up how about you go make your life into a movie instead you have to understand that in real life it does not work like that you may just may get a couple of special events in your life that change it all for you someone close to you could pass away you could go through heartbreak but even then it takes months to change your life you must know that in the nature of content and entertainment they have to keep your attention high just like i do in these videos that means this content has to be short and snappy and to the point of course a movie can't realistically show months of progress so they condense it down to a couple of minutes that makes you feel worse and that makes so many guys incapable of improving themselves how many guys do you know if we could just rewire their mindset their expectations that we could get them into the gym we could get them meditating and reading and being productive but it's because those guys want results as fast as their superhero but it doesn't work like that you have to go through the trials and tribulations and it takes months and yeah you've significantly changed your life but like it's not as big of a thing as like now now you're beating up the bully but you're so humble like to level up your character takes a while to see a physical difference in your body takes a while and yet you can go onto youtube and see a body transformation video in three minutes the guy shows seven years of progress but he's told you that it's three years natural and you see him get huge mother went through puberty he's got a full-time job he's got a full beard and he's telling you it was like a six month progress we buy into that because it hooks your attention. We love to see fast progress, but it's those people who commit to the long-term grind. It's those people who don't even see this as a short-term or a long-term who make the progress. You know what those people see self-improvement as? Go into the gym, meditate, and you know how they view it? As a lifestyle. When I started weightlifting, the idea wasn't to try and get jacked as fast as possible. I said to myself, I will continue weightlifting for the rest of my life. That will guarantee that I build the absolute 10 out of 10 body. And maybe it's not the absolute 10 out of 10 body just yet, but I look pretty f good. If I had the mindset that I did in other areas of life, 
like being productive, but in weightlifting, I would have expected to get results so quickly that I would have quit when I didn't see any real progress in like a month or two. You have to trust in the compound effect. Little changes, day by day, week by week, you don't really see much progress. It's only when years go by that you realize that there's actually quite a significant gap between you and the Jeffries that you knew who never really put in the right work. And when you notice this gap, trust me, life gets very, very interesting. I hope you experience this, even though it's a little bit insulting to like, you know, your previous Jeffrey friends. Because when you notice this gap between you who's been doing the good habits and your friends who have been doing the bad habits, it's already too late. The snowball effect is already taken over and you're going to see it get bigger and bigger and bigger exponentially. You don't see the results for a while, but trust me, when you see the results it's f***ing huge and it gets bigger and bigger every couple of months after that it's incomparable that you used to be so alike to the people that you spent time with a few years ago in your early 20s you can be doing all the right work whilst your friend can be going out to the club and drinking and staying up late and he could just naturally have like a good body and he'll piss you off he could naturally just be you know confident and he ends up getting a good job and it can piss you off because you're doing the right things but the youtuber first man said that it's your late 20s that truly you see this exponential gap between males because that same guy who's been going out to the club because he's waiting for the special event that's going to change his life he's not trusting in those small incremental improvements it catches up to him he starts gaining weight when he wasn't previously his desk job that he was so proud of and that you were envious of well now he's sat down for eight to ten hours a day but you know he has a really fancy car that you were jealous of well now he's behind on payments he's got a council tax bill that he can't even afford to pay he gets fatter and fatter and fatter Trust the process. Scroll down right now and click on the share button underneath this video. Send the link over to a Jeffrey friend who might need it. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Kiss me then, bitch.